Hi, it's Paul from Hench Herbivore. I'm with amazing vegan strongman Patrick Babemian, and we're going to do a little interview. Check it out. Okay, Patrick, so for anyone who lives under a rock and doesn't actually know who you are, tell us a little bit, a little bit about yourself and your achievements. Yeah, so I'm a strength athlete. I'm, uh, I started doing strength sports when I was 14 years old. Now I'm 38, so I'm doing this for almost a quarter of a century now. Um, and uh, I've been uh, most, like, tw the first 12 years, I have eaten like uh, pretty much the most of the people in the fitness in industry eat, so a lot of meat heavy, uh, not because I liked it, but because I thought it, it is necessary to, to uh, uh, get the muscle gains and what I wanted. Uh, then at a certain point, I realized um, that I was actually very compassionate with animals, and that didn't go well with uh, my eating habits, so I decided to go vegetarian. Uh, and... Um, it actually helped me with my performances, uh, and then after six years, um, um, it helped me that much that I won, <laughs> that I won the title of Germany's Strongest Man. So that was the pinnacle of my career at that moment, um, and, and gave me also a lot of publicity with, with media and, and so on, because uh, there, there I was, a vegetarian, strongest guy in the country with 80 million people. So I was in all news uh, media, I was in a lot of horrible TV shows, <laughs> um, but I was reaching a lot of people with a message. Um, and uh, what I found out is that uh, coming from an ethical point of view, I really wanted to not push vegetarianism, I wanted to push veganism. So to do, in order to do that, I had to be vegan myself. So that's when I made the decision to, um, uh, although I was very anxious and thought I might uh, have problems uh, keeping my performance level, I tried to do it vegan. And then I was totally shocked because my performances just skyrocketed for the next five years. Up until last year where I had a uh, major injury on my tricep, that's when uh, things got a little bit slower. But up to that point, I was doing re really, really well. Broke all my personal records, uh, broke uh, some world records in, in, in some strongman disciplines. Uh, so veganism has been uh, the, the best thing I have ever done in my whole life. Uh, and I'm not having uh, a child yet, so I can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> now I know you've done the 555 kilogram yoke walk. Yeah. What yeah. are your other records that you break? Yeah. So the yoke was probably the most uh, impressive thing uh, because of the just the heavy weight, uh, and it was I did it first back in uh, 2013, uh, and then I broke my own world record in in 2015 again. Um, and we did that for, for, for a big movie that, uh, that we're making, The Game Changers. I think you're involved in The Game Changers too. So, so uh, I, I did that actually especially as, as something, uh, 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 kind of a performance for that movie. Um, and um, the other world records, uh, so, so the first was the uh, keg lift, uh, which is basically like weightlifting only with a keg. Uh, it was a 150 kilo uh, uh, keg lift for one rep. That, that was a record back then. Um, and then I also did a world record um, in, uh, in front hold. It basically 20 kilos, you hold it with outstretched arms as long as, long as you can. Uh, and the, the record back then was uh, 1 minute and 16, and I did 1 minute and 26 in the Guinness World Record Show. So uh, I know you're cutting currently, yeah. but when you were trying to get as strong as possible, can yeah. you tell us an idea of how many calories, your kind of macro split, and the types of food you eat? Yeah, so basically my problem is that I'm a very small guy competing in a sport where you have giants. So basically, when you look at one of the most dominant guys in the last years, you have Brian Shaw, who is a guy who is 2 meters and 10 tall, uh, and who weighs sometimes around 200 kilos. Uh, and when you're a dwarf like me, <laughs> you go against those guys. You have to make sure uh, size matters. So you have to make sure you stay big and strong, uh, as, as big and strong as you can be with one meter, one meter 70 that I have. So, uh, so I would ha have to take in a lot of calories. Um, and, um, what, well, something specific that, uh, that I do is uh, I'm getting a lot of calories just in liquid form. So if I'm not hungry enough for all the calories that I want to take in, I just take them as smoothies and shakes. Um, and back then, when I was trying to, to gain weight, uh, it used to be up to 7,000 calories a day. Um, and uh, protein-wise, a, a lot of the protein comes from a combination of starches and, and, and legumes, uh, which I'm pretty sure you're familiar with. Um, the idea is to mix uh, different protein sources together to get a good balanced amino acid profile, um, and, and you're good for it. So you mentioned the Game Changers movie. Is there any things you can tell us about the movie or is it a bit hush-hush at the minute? 
No, I mean, um, uh, basically the, the whole thing started off as, as a one-man project, as you might know, uh, by James Wilkes. So James is a, a, um, um, a mixed martial artist, uh, and he went pretty much vegan the, the same time. I went vegan back in 2011, late 2011. Uh, and, um, and after he started doing some research, he found out there are, that there are actually a lot of guys in typically masculine sports like fighting, strength sports and so on, who are doing very, very well as, ve as a vegan. And that was very surprising for him. And actually it was surprising for me too after, <laughs> after I did it. Because normally you would think uh, probably that doesn't go too well because of protein, blah, blah, and so on. So um, after he was so surprised, uh, his idea was to uh, have, have a kind of a documentary trying to dispel this myth of uh, masculinity and meat and, 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 uh, and the connection between those two. Uh, and that was this whole idea. And I think um, back then uh, the, the project was called uh, Plant Athletes, oh, okay. and that's when he started. And he just uh, buy some. Uh, he, he would just buy some equipment, some some filming equipment. Just came out, uh, basically trained with me, did an interview with me, did the same thing with some other guys, fighters and and, and lifters and so on. Um, and and that was it. And then some other people. Uh, he, he drew the attention some, uh, from some other people, so they put in some more money, get the whole thing a little bit bigger. Then they came back one year later or so. That was when we filmed in Toronto for the, for the world record, uh, and, and then we already had a big team of five people. They came and visited me, so we refilmed everything. And then it got a little bit bigger than that. <laughs> so now currently we're at a point where we have James Cameron as our pro uh, as executive producer. Uh, I think the final cut uh, of the thing is already done. Oh, nice. And we're going to be out uh, for the first time uh, at the Sundance Film Festival in, in next January. So I'm very, very excited because I'm a part of this whole thing for more than five years now. Uh, and I can't wait to, to get it out to the public and then try to uh, get some, some, some impact and, and uh, hopefully free some minds with it. G game changers is the phrase, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, change the game. Yeah. Okay, Patrick, so obviously you've done a lot for veganism to you know, show what can be done. What has veganism done for you, would you say? Well, um, it, it has changed my, my life completely. So, so back in 2011, when I won the title and when, when I first started to, to promote veganism, I was just a strength athlete, uh, just living the life of an athlete. And uh, I, in the meantime, in the last uh, six years, I've uh, transformed into a kind of, a, I, I don't know, um, sometimes it feels... That, that sounds stupid, but uh, you feel like a ma messiah, <laughs> like, like a prophet or something. <laughs> but and, and obviously I'm not. I'm just, just, just... I don't know. I don't know. Just a regular asshole. <laughs> but <laughs> but, but, but you, you, you are kind of uh, trying to, uh, to push something that is much, much bigger than any of us. So uh, it, it is very fulfilling to, to you know, have, have the sense of purpose and uh, have the sense of uh, that you're really impacting a lot of lives in a positive way. Uh, and of course, uh, I, when I first made the decision to go vegan, the idea was to reduce suffering. Um, and when you then get this feeling of that you're doing something where you're not reducing suffering just in your own space, yeah. but worldwide on, on a big, much, much bigger scale, that's very fulfilling and, and, and just gives so much back. And then also uh, you get so much uh, love back from the vegan crowd and, and, and from, from, from everyone. So, so it's, yeah. it's, been, it's been great. Yeah. Fantastic. And um, what's next for you? Is it just carry, have you got anything special coming up or just carry on the way you're, you're promoting things? Well, at the moment I'm concentrating on, uh, on, on traveling. I'm, I'm doing a lot of traveling, trying to go to as many events as I can, speak there. Uh, I'm working on my next book at the moment, so I have two books out now uh, since I went vegan. The first one is uh, mostly focuses on, on nutrition, the second one focuses on, on training, and then the third one is going to focus on, on uh, philosophy. So um, my, my idea uh, is, is to, to have a kind of uh, well a broader pers uh, perspective and, and push a new way of, of um, how I think we should redefine strength and redesign, uh, redefine leadership to, uh, to, to give the movement also uh, uh, um, um, a change in, in, in the way it's perceived by young men. Because what I feel is that uh, men are uh, what, what's holding the uh, movement back. If you see you have 60, 70% women, 
uh, which is a great thing, but that means that we only have 30% men, uh, which, which means they're holding us back. So I'm trying to go more, uh, go a little bit deeper on the on the philosophical uh, things and and try to push uh, kind of a, a, an image what I think is real strength, uh, and, and I combine that with responsibility. And in a globalized world, uh, you can't do anything to protect more lives. And, and what else is it uh, to, to, be, to be a leader than to be a protector? Uh, so, so you can't do anything to protect more lives than go vegan, protect the planet, protect innocent uh, sentient beings, and protect uh, the resources who are needed for, uh, for other people so, so they don't starve, actually. Um, and to protect your own health. So that's that's what's next. <laughs> yeah, nice, that is huge. So you've got your couple of books. You've got some very yeah. cool T-shirts as well. Yeah. If people you. if people want to make a purchase, can they yeah. find you online? Yeah, you, it, uh, it's very easy to find. You just go veganbadass.com. That's it. And and there you get the T-shirts, you get the books, uh, and and uh, you get other um, uh, other stuff that I, that I put up. Lovely, Patrick. Thank you so much, brother. And thank you Thanks. for all you do, brother. Thanks, brother. Nice. Boom. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Go vegan for victory.